Lord, we come to you with thanks of giving. We thank you, Father, for this day. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for forgiveness of sin. We thank you for giving us Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We give our praises to you, Jehovah. We come here to declare a name that is above every other name. And the name that you gave us has brought grief to our media students. Yes. Has brought salvation to us. Has brought redemption to us. Has brought to us to Zion. We give you glory, Father. Father, we bless you. As we lift our holy hands before you, we declare that you are holy. We declare you are holy. We declare that you are holy. And now we come against every principality. Every and every commander and the evil world. And we declare that you have no authority over this, this, this day. And we declare we take over dominion now. We take over dominion now. Tonight you are not in Africa. If there is something that we have 
in your family. Ah, come to us in the temple. Who has never a a friend with an airplane? Am I at your friend and on the go? Ah, you be the first one in the temple. Who wants to show a friend to you? Who is in your family? Come to family. Who is in your family? Come to family. The only thing that they have driven is wheelbarrow and a bicycle. Yeah, to to talk back to you and then say my son is not here. The story of your family is not about you. Come and tell me why you are just standing in the temple. Today you are breaking forth. Sit down, get him and 
do I make your enemies? Just tell me if anybody you want to do a fruit story. Lauren Wilma, reversing service. Ah, come there, man, a crap has been in your top. Yeah, you go to work or be your camping. You can grow out of your camping. You can grow out of your camping. You can grow out of your camping. Say, Jesus, I love you. Say, my ass, you want to pay. Say, Jesus, I love you. Say, my ass, you want to pay. And we may be seated in the presence of God. Glory be to Jesus. Ah, super come on. Come for praise and worship as they put in your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, thank you for them that are watching live. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Pastor Jacques, for standing aside me. May you take it, but take the same blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for them that are watching us live. I can see you working. God bless you so much. I'm seeing you. Every day, every day, I'm seeing you. 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 I'm seeing you. Every day, 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 I'm seeing you. I will anoint you for higher life. You will not go out of Kenya and come back without anything. Nobody will squander your money in Kenya. I have testimonies of people who sent their money to their mother. They Spiritual positive empowerment. 
lakini pia neema ni ile nguvu ya kukufanya wewe uweze kufanya mambo makubwa haleluya and it is that spiritual enablement ni ile nguvu ya kiroho ambayo inakufanya uweze kufanya and now i know that we have entered to the a dispensation where there is a diversion of doctrines about grace ninajua tumeenda kwa maeneo ambayo kuna njia tofauti ya kuhusu neema but i want to teach you something about the triality of grace lakini nataka kukuhusu ukweli wa neema you know we have talked about redemption about forgiveness Relationships about holiness among other things. The other day I was talking about Christocentric. I was talking about Christocentric. Wakati mwingine kuna ngo kuhusu Christocentric. Humanity of Jesus Christ. Ana kuhusu Yesu Kristo. But most of the people lakini watu wengi have taken advantage of the grace of God. Wamechukua mchoro cha sala kwa neema ya Bwana because God has forgiven us. Kwa sababu Bwana Now you can do each and every sin because grace has been provided. Kwa sababu neema imeletwa kwako. It is a nera ni makosa. Let me tell you this. Acha nikuambie. Because of the internet of God, kwa sababu ya ukuu wa Mungu, internet what is internet? Kwa Mungu no. uadilifu wa Mungu yes the right huh? yes kwa sababu ya uadilifu wa Mungu the integrity of the law kwa sababu ya uadilifu wa Mungu he will forgive you atakusamehe you come and praise unakuja una you come and worship unakuja na maabudu yet you lie lakini ulidanganya Kristo lakini uliiba and you fornicate na ulifanya dhambi ya Mungu you are still a son of god na wewe bado tuni mwana wa Mungu that is grace hiyo ni neema but there is a sign of grace that you don't know lakini kuna upande wa neema ambayo wewe you are in grace you know grace helps us to say no to ungodliness neema inatufanya tuseme hapana kwa mambo ambayo si ya mjuu so if you don't have the capacity in your heart to say no to sin then you are still under the the law or you are still a son but you are a, a, a child kama hauna nafasi ya kusema hapana kwa dhambi kwa hiyo bado wewe ni mtoto Mind the church. Niko kanisani. Ali kachi something unaniolewa. Now I want to teach. Nataka kufunza. I'm more of a teacher than a, a preacher. Nataka leo nifunze sana. So you don't, you don't say so many amens I would be offended. Kwa hivyo usikosema amen nyingi sitakuwa na wasiwasi. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want you to understand. Nataka uelewe. Then that sinner wale ambao wanatenda dhambi and they are still under the grace. Na wako chini ya neema. They are some benefits that they will not enjoy yet they are sons of god kuna faida baada hawatazipata hata kama bado ni wana wa mungu haikatindi unanielewa i have said nimesema the integrity of god will make it to forgive you even when you have not repented uadilifu wa mungu ni ni hali ambayo hata mungu atakusamea hata kama bado haujatubu what we confess ni yale ambayo tunasema sins of the of 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 the of the mind yale dhambi haya ya mawazo yetu but it is so hard to confess the sins of the heart lakini ni ngumu sana utubu dhambi ya moyo let me show you how it is so hard wacha nikuonyeshe jinsi ni ngumu during the time of the law a wakati wa sheria if you take somebody's wife and sleep with him kama unachukua mke wa mtu unayo nayo you have committed adultery umetenda dhambi ya ngono but according to the grace lakini kwa neema if you look to a woman last to free lakini ukiangalia tu You see how hard it is to do that for Christ. Unaona jinsi ni ngumu sana. Hallelujah. In the law, kwa sheria it was a knife for a knife. Ilikuwa ni jicho kwa jicho. It was a knife for an eye. But during the time of grace, lakini wakati wa neema, during the time of grace, wakati huu wa neema, this is what happens. Hivyo inafanyika. Somebody stop you this way. Mtu akikupiga makofi hivi, the roses, the cases. Neema nasema. Give the other one. 
Alléluia. Vous êtes tous. Il s'appelle Slap sur il is a knife for a knife. You slap. You slap. But during the dispensation of grace, if somebody slaps, give the other one. You pay the Slap it again. In the time of the law, we will follow the law. But in the time of grace, in the eye will make you sin. Pluck it out. It is better you enter in heaven with an eye. The dispensation of grace is harder than the dispensation of the law. So it shows that no man can fulfill the law. We live by the mercies of God. So I don't know what the kind of people that we have today. They judge everybody. One of the things that we are doing every day. We judge by look. Our own eyes are full of judgment. We are full of judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. We are judging the celebs. Getting you are doing it more than celebs. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah. God forbid. So let me tell you this. If you are still under the dispensation of grace, and you are still sinning, let me tell you who you are. John, first John chapter 1, chapter 2. First John chapter 2 verses 1 I promise you I'll be very brief I'll be very brief Hallelujah Amen. So can we read like a mass choir? Uh-huh. Read, like, uh, read like the people who are full of the Holy Ghost Who are being taught who have been taught? I want you to understand that the spiritual age is not determined by the physical uh, by the physical growth. It is determined by the right that has come towards you. It is determined by the level of knowledge that you have. That is why this maybe uh, uh, maybe maybe Years old, and Mama Susan may be 70 years old. Mama Susan has a cool and a black as a spiritual, she may be more mature. Like, it is the Russian because of the right that has overshadowed him. Another cool and second, I am one that I'm bound to put it together. Elders in the spirit are not the people with the white hair. While there was zero clothes, you are the one who has encountered and the bread in the presence of God. You are to my car and a cool. So our age is not determined by the growth of the body and the physical things. Right? And you listen to the three men who get to our job. And you are there was nothing that was new that they said about him to help him. I thought age will talk with him. I thought the white hair could speak. And he came to understand. He came to the book of John chapter 2 verses 8. That there is a spirit in a man. There is a spirit in a man. There is a spirit in a man. 